coming through that you know in, in one way it was difficult to judge the vibe but I could tell the people down there were having a brilliant time Absolutely. I mean how could you not have a brilliant time with this town yeah. saxophone, the whole thing, so I've got the good foundation there behind it, and started getting into computers, as everyone did in the 80s and early 90s, and then, of course, the natural progression was, well, I want to make music with these things, so I started doing that. At what age? Um, look, I guess I started making tracks when I was in high school, so probably 13, 14, 15, that kind of age, wow. and um, they started getting good um, a couple of years after I, well, good, you know, this <laughs> is what I thought was good. Probably when I was probably 19 or 20, I'd say, and um, I would make tracks um, that uh, you know that I, I, I thought people wanted to hear. And I, I guess that the, the early the early idea was to just get, play those tracks. And of course, in those days, you didn't have Serato, you didn't have a time code system, you didn't have any of that. The best I could do was to maybe get my studio out into the party and play and try and play them that way. So what I would do was have two Amiga computers and mix them like a DJ like that and then uh, obviously over time that set became more and more complicated and I had more stints and blah blah blah. Field of Dreams was a big one that, that everyone okay. talks about all the time Absolutely. and that was that was a full on rig. I mean uh, that's as big as what you would see Vision 4 5 Absolutely. here tonight, as big Absolutely. as that. Yeah. Wow. And toys these days, you're still on using the old ones? Or you well no, surprisingly, yeah. surprisingly like I've really cut back on my studio and it's all happening in the box now. I'm moving with the times, it's all happening in the computer now. Yep. I've got some kit in there and the latest software and everything, but that's what you're doing now. It's all, you're producing it yep. in the box in the computer and mixing yep. it in the and box. And you are still producing? Absolutely. Releasing? Yeah, well, you know, releasing these days, what's releasing? You put it on SoundCloud, you get some people yep. to comment on yep. it, that's release, yep. right? So, um, the first half of that set tonight, that, the, the housey kind yep. of stuff, yep. that was all written probably in the last three months leading up to this set yep. and then the last half the ravey stuff the sort of stuff you would know so that was played at Donkey Kong yep. and yep. things like that. There's, there's a scene, sure, but you know, if that's what you want to brand it, you know, yeah. I'm just a person doing my thing, yeah. and that's kind of what makes the scene the scene up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the way yeah. I see it, and yeah. it's like the Prodigy, right? If you look at the Prodigy, for instance, the Prodigy early on, you would say they were rave music, right? And then later on, with tracks like Smack My Bitch Up and that on, you would say that they were punk music, and they moved on. But no, they never, they never changed what they did, yeah. right? Everyone else just kind of gravitated towards what they did. And as a musician, that's how I feel as well. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to make my stuff, yep. and I think it's going to work, and I think these people are going to like it, 
and you know they're gonna if they don't they'll they might go away and if they do they'll follow along and then that will become the scene Recently, I probably got more house influences recently. Um, remix artists like um, Hadji and Emmanuel. Yep. I tend to hear a sound. That's the way I work. Yep. I'll hear a sound and I go, ah, that sound sticks with me. And what happens, you're out on the dance floor and the sound will just keep, you'll hear it coming, that song, you hear it coming, and I say, yeah, right, I'm gonna go back. And then you, you end up putting that back into something that you do. Sweet, so sweet. That's how I get influenced. Brilliant. So you are on the dance floor? Do you, do you like to- Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'll be out there tonight. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sweet, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Um, where do you see yourself in 10, 20 years time? Still producing? I know it's a hard question. <laughs> Hopefully not in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a big part um, of your life. Look, I've got, I've invested a bit in the studio at home and, you know, yes, in, in one respect it's a hobby, in one respect it's um, about getting some tunes out there so that everyone would hear. I will continue, always be continually writing stuff. I love, yeah. I love sitting down in front of a computer, dropping some some tracks, some yeah. samples in there, and just getting something working. I love doing that. Um, um, who knows where that's going to lead? Who knows? Steve Reva, um, you know, I guess, you know, Dynamics went to Mark Dynamics, sure. you, know, you know, Nick the Fish went to Nick Fish, so I guess Reva went to Steve Reva, you know, it's kind of, everyone went a bit fancy there yeah, in the late yeah. 90s, but Reva, Steve Reva, SoundCloud, I'm on there, you'll get a lot of, you'll get everything that I've done on SoundCloud, um, that includes obscure remixes, um, hip-hop stuff, wow. um, I've actually produced an album with a hip-hop artist. Um, it's it's unreleased at the moment. Yeah, Sorry. it's unreleased. Yeah, we're, we're working on that one. Yeah. You heard um, it here. You heard it here. That's right. It's coming out. Yeah. It's called Debug the Punk. So look out for that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So check that out. Also check out my blog, steveriver.com. Um, there's stuff happening in there all the time on Facebook. Steve Reaver, yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Um, posting stuff, little clips and stuff I'm working on in the studio all the time. That's right. Um, look, obviously, you know, the last six months has been pretty full on, like producing and working okay. all the time. I might take a little break now. For we'll let you. A, just, <laughs> we'll let you. Just for a, a couple of weeks, yeah, and yeah. then I've got a couple of track ideas, so Sweet. yeah, something will happen. Yeah. Nice one. Well, there you go. That's how you can check out Steve Reaver. And um, we just want to thank you for taking the time out tonight and um, entertaining us. Thank you. Star. Thank you. Fantastic. It was fantastic. Cheers. It was a great set. Yeah. Awesome. Enjoy your night. Fantastic.